is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. In today's video, I'm doing a bit of a different video from my recent content, but I wanna get more into this kind of content, more lifestyle, more minimalistic style content. And I thought the best way to start that off would be with my desk setup, because in my opinion, it's pretty minimal. It's pretty modern and it's totally my style. It's just my lifestyle. It's a part of my whole online business thing. So I thought it tied in kind of nicely to my overall channel niche. And a lot of people asked me to do a video like this. So I thought I would do one. So I'm going over all the different things that are on my desk here and all the different pieces and accessories and stuff that I have and just showing you guys exactly all of them, all the features, what I like, what I don't like. And then I'll go over what I wish I had at the end of the video. So Without further ado, let's just jump right into this and get into the first thing. So it would make sense to talk about my desk as the first thing here. And my desk that I work on and the one you're seeing here is my Ikea Skarsta desk. It's around 63 inches wide and 31 inches deep. So it is a very big desk. And it's also a sit stand desk. As you can see, there is a lever that I can spin that makes it go up and down. It's pretty slow. I don't use it very often. I'm usually just sitting at the desk. It's uh, it's kind of a gimmicky fe feature in my opinion. It'd be better to have one of those automated ones with a button and it raises up and down be way easier. I think I would use it more. Um, but it is nice to have if I need to stand up for whatever reason, I do have that little lever there to stand up and move it up and down. It has super sturdy legs. This thing is like full metal and I absolutely love it. It was around $250 Canadian and uh, I just, I, I haven't really had any issues with it. It can be, a bit squeaky sometimes but other than that it's very good very sturdy and you kind of get what you pay for with ikea um 250 is kind of a bit of money but it's not actually that expensive for a desk like this um ikea desktops tend to scuff a little bit so you has got to be careful with it as long as you take care of, as long as you take care of it um it will last you on top of that i have my monitor sitting up here probably the next biggest thing that i have on the setup and this monitor is a dell p3221d it is a USB C monitor so i can plug my MacBook Pro in, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, directly with one cable, charge it and everything. So it's very nice, very convenient. The monitor is 1440p, so it is a decent quality monitor. I kind of wish, um, since it's a 32 inch monitor, it's quite large. I wish I would've got a 4K model, um, to be honest with you. Um, it can be a bit pixely at some times, but it is very good. Um, it swivels completely if you wanna, I know lots of people who do coding, they swivel it like portrait mode. Um, it goes up and down very nicely and the bottom stand is very heavy like when i say heavy it's like 50 pounds this thing and uh, it's very sturdy it's not going to shake around or anything like that it cost me around 800 dollars canadian from amazon and like i said plugged into that thing that's powering it is my 2019 macbook pro and it's a 16 inch model um to be frank i absolutely love this thing i've had macbooks in the past this is my most recent edition it has 32 gigs of ram and one terabyte of storage it has the touch bar it runs amazing have I had absolutely no issues with it. It has the longer travel keyboard, which is something that I really wanted. Um, I think the 2016, 2017 models had that short travel keyboard, which I just wasn't really a fan of. Um, so this one has a long travel keyboard. And I actually bought this one used off of, I think Facebook Marketplace around 3000 Canadian. So pretty good deal, um, I think. Um, I think retail would have been like five grand Canadian. So with all the specs and everything, very good deal. And I'm super happy with this laptop. That laptop is sitting on top of a Rain Design M stand. As you can see here, it's the exact same color. It's space gray, just like the laptop. And this stand is super, super sturdy. It's actually quite heavy. It's around $70 Canadian. And ever since I got it, I've been super happy with it. It's does what it does. It's just a stand, but it's super sturdy. And I don't think it's gonna get ruined. I know seventy dollars is a lot of money for a laptop stand, but again, you get what you pay for. This is definitely a high quality one. Um, my only gripe is that my laptop and my stand combo are space gray, and the stand on the lap on the uh, monitor is silver. So a little bit off there, but whatever. And the big thing you're seeing that all of these things are sitting on top of is my, I guess, monitor kind of desk shelf that I've made, kind of made from IKEA. Actually, the shelf that it's the white shelf that these legs are on is called a Bergschult shelf. It's from IKEA. It's around twenty five bucks, and then the legs are called Capita or Capita legs. They come in packs of four and they're $18. And I just screwed them on and put it on top of the desk. It actually has been pretty good. I've had it for a few months now and it hasn't cracked yet. I'm waiting for it to crack, but I don't think it's cracked yet. And it's held it pretty well. It's about the same material as the desk. So it does mark easy, you gotta be careful, but it's very simple. And I think it looks pretty good. Kinda wish I got a smaller one, but 
works well. And next thing on top of my desk is my keyboard mat with my keyboard and mouse on top. Go into detail on the keyboard and mouse in just a second. But below it is the keyboard mat and it is a full leather mat that I just bought of Amazon. It is super slim, super sleek, and it just kind of keeps the key or the keyboard and mouse in place without moving around when I'm typing on them. So I find it nice and easy. Ended up cost me around $20 off of amazon.ca. And then on top of that, of course, I have the Apple Magic Keyboard and Apple Magic Trackpad. Both these things, I've had them for a few months now and they work very well. Got them in white. Um, I actually had a silver MacBook Pro when I got them, so everything did match, but now I have the, the Space Gray MacBook Pro and then the white and silver and white trackpad and keyboard uh, combo. I think it all still looks good. It still ties together decently nice, but in my opinion, kind of wish I had the Space Gray ones now. Not a big deal. I think these two look very good together and I didn't want the number pad. I just wanted the single keyboard with the trackpad beside it. So there wasn't as much space being taken up and they are Bluetooth. So there's no cords or anything. So there's no big mess. Plug them into charge. And seriously, these things both last like a month on their charge. Uh, that's probably a little bit more. The trackpad's about two weeks. The keyboard is definitely about a month. It lasts on one charge, which is insane. So super happy with those guys. Um, can't really complain about that purchase. Below the desk shelf is a wireless charger that I got from Staples. It's super cheap and honestly, I think it stopped working yesterday. <laughs> it looks pretty good, but I need to get a new one. It's just a wireless charger to put my AirPods on, as you can see. And uh, it did the job up until yesterday when it stopped working, so I wouldn't really recommend it. I'm gonna have to go buy a new one, but for now it's just sitting there and it looks decent. Beside the desk, you'll notice I have an Alex drawer. This is also from Ikea. It is only $99, and to be honest, this is a very high quality drawer, and a lot of people who have them can vouch for that. This drawer is super high quality. It's took actually quite a long time to make. There's lots of different pieces that go into it. But it's a super simple drawer. Since the desk doesn't have any shelves or anything like that, I had to make, I had to get this drawer so I could put some stuff in there for storage. Um, and as you open it, you can see I do use some IKEA bins, which are like five or ten dollars, just to keep things organized all in place because the drawers are just big open drawers. Um, there also is a file cabinet drawer option for the Alex drawer. I didn't get that version. Kind of wish I did, but right now I just have the multiple drawer option and it's worked just fine. And then underneath my desk, I have what's called an Ikea Signum. As you can see, it is a full cable organizer. Um, my cables are a bit of a mess, as you can see on the organizer. So if they didn't have that thing, under my desk would just be an atrocity, but I do have that thing under there. It's just screwed in. It's about $20 from Ikea. It's very cheap and you just screw it into the bottom of the desk and it keeps all of your cables in place. As you can see, I just have one power bar cord going up into the cable. I guess you call it basket where all of the cables are wrapped around. I do have an extra, a couple extra cables in there that I probably don't need to have, but it does do the job quite well. As you can see, if I didn't have it, it would be disgusting under my desk. And then to sit at my desk, I have what is called an Ikea I'm gonna butcher this. I think it's Yarv Halle or Yarv Hallet. I'm not sure. I'm gonna link everything down below in the description. But this chair is called a Yarv Hallet from Ikea. It cost me around 150 bucks, so it's pretty cheap. Not exactly that expensive for an office chair, and I am super happy with this thing. No complaints whatsoever. It is held up very well. I went with the non-armrest version because I just don't need armrests. Oh, I'm getting out of my chair all the time. I hate when the armrest gets in the way and I just don't use it. So I got the non-armrest version. Very happy with that. Has amazing back support. As you can see, it has a little pad on the back. You can actually slide up and down and it just offers more back support. I guess arch support in your back, whatever you want to call it. The higher you move it up, the more the support is. And also the seat goes back and forth so you can adjust that. It's a very sturdy, not exactly comfy chair, but it does do the job and I'm very happy with it. I got the gray cloth version. I kind of wish I got the um, black leather one, but they're out of stock as IKEA usually is with a lot of things. So this one does just fine. It kind of matches things, so I'm happy with it. And uh, it hasn't really failed me yet. I've had it for almost a year now. Moving on to a couple of accessories that I have on top of the desk. The first thing you'll notice is this plant I have. It's called a F IKEA Feca plant. Yes, it's like Fejka. I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce some of this IKEA stuff. It's like four dollars, and then I have it in a Nippon, Nippon, Nippon. I don't know. Uh, planter. Thing. It's just plastic. It's gray. It looks good. It's modern. It fits into the theme of the desk. I think it's like six dollars. So total is like ten bucks for this little plant combo. Just adds some color to this very blandly colored desk. That's my style, though. I'm gonna keep it white and black. That's what I like. As you can see, the colors of my room. Not a whole lot of colors. The green plant does add a nice little touch, in my opinion. And then beside that, on top of the Alex drawer, I have this candle that I bought from Staples. Uh, it's by a brand called Gray Matter, Gray Matter. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's like $20 it's purely for aesthetics. I've never actually used the candle. Um, I don't know what it smells like. I just like how it has like that marble finish on the outside. It looks kind of clean to me. So it's just chilling there. I also have one on top of my dresser. I have two of them, as you guys can see in the back of the shot there. Um, very simple. Uh, I like it. It looks good. So that's why I got it. And finally, behind the desk, I do have a strip of LED lights. As you can see behind me, 
I'm filming right now. There's this purple strip behind my bed. I have the same thing behind my desk and you can change colors of it, whatever you want. I don't use it as much as I used to. Uh, it's nice at night when it's dark, you can turn them on. It's kind of like a nice ambient light. Um, that's add a little bit more color. You can choose what color you want, but I feel a little bit too TikTok -y using that thing. And especially with this one in the back. I don't know if I'm gonna use that from now on. We'll see. Um, but it, it's not too bad. It does add a little bit ambient or ambiance to the room. Looks good. Uh, it's like cheap, like $20 from Amazon, and it adds a nice little flare. You stick them onto the back of the desk, and it looks pretty cool. Finally, blocking this big window in front of me. Like, that's my lighting source. As you can see, there's a big window behind my desk are my blinds. And these are from Ikea as well, and they're called the Ikea Friden or Friden. I don't know how you pronounce it. Friden's blinds. Uh, it was like 60 bucks, and it's just a window shade, pretty much. It's basically blackout blinds, though. It works quite well, and it's very clean. It has this handle on the side. You pull, and it goes up and down. And uh, it, honestly, one of the best investments I've made, I used to have no blinds and my room would be super bright all the time and it'd be hard to sleep. So ever since I got these blinds, I've been able to block light, uh, especially for videos as well, because when they're wide open, it's bright, it's super hard to film uh, with the camera. So I got the blinds on there they look pretty good. Um, they're white, obviously, and they block the light out. So I'm happy with those guys. So those are all the things on my desk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my whole walkthrough of my desk setup. Um, it's pretty basic, pretty minimalistic, but that's the way I like it. Keep it clean and organized so my mind is also clean and organized so I can get my work done, be as productive as possible. And uh, some things I'd like to have, um, honestly, there's only like one thing that I'd probably like to have, and that is some speakers because the Dell P3221D monitor um, doesn't have any built-in speakers, which kind of sucks. It's not too bad. I mean, you can use a laptop speaker. It's not a big deal, but I would like to have some speakers or a speaker somewhere around the desk setup here so I could use that for music or whatever, um, videos, editing, whatever it may be. Uh, but that's pretty much all I would really add. I might take the lights off the back of it and just make it cleaner. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much it. If you're curious what mic I'm using, I guess that kind of counts as my desk setup. It is just a Blue Yeti mic on a different color stand because my other stand broke, so I had to get a new one and this is all they had. But anyways, that's it for my desk setup uh, for 2021 for maximum productivity, productivity and just focus. Uh, this is what has worked for me and this desk has served me quite well. If you guys like this kind of video and you enjoyed this style of video kind of differentiating from the publishing content all the time, thought I'd make a desk setup. If you like it, let me know down below. And if you want me to make more videos like this, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to make some videos about other things other than publishing. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I try to post new videos every single week. So anyways, guys, that's it for this week's video. Hopefully you enjoyed my desk setup and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.